What's good YouTube? Modern Craft Fair guys back with another video today. I am sorry for delay. Sorry it's been a minute. Someone actually sent me a message tonight. They were like, dude, what's going on with your channel? I haven't been seeing any new videos. You know, you need to get on it. You are absolutely right, fam. Um, again, my apologies to everyone. And yes, I'm back with another pair of Nike Air Hirachis, but I do have some other type of shoes or trainers, depending on what side of the pond you're on, that I'm going to review for you guys shortly. So fear not, my friends, fear not. I will be getting to some other shoes, but um, just as to warn you, I do have more Hirachis than anything else that uh, I'm going to start to do a lot of reviews on, or I have, um, and I can do more reviews on, um, out of any other shoe I've been picking up. But today we're looking at the Nike Air Hirachi Hyper Punch. We're also going to take a look at the t-shirt, um, a matching t-shirt that I found out uh, just last week was now available. I've picked up a couple of these. Um, so right before I get into the review guys of the shoe, I just want to send a huge thank you and shout out to Don K. Ruler. A link to his channel guys will be down in the description. I was losing a lot of sleep over trying to get these, figuring out where they were going to cop. I called stores in Canada all the way from the U.S. They were like, we don't ship to the U.S. I'm like, boo! But they ended up dropping here first at finish in-store at finish line. Um, Don K. Ruler put me on to that. It was late in the evening. I dropped, what, I dropped everything I was doing. I ran out there, picked up a pair for him and myself. He already has his pair in hand. Um, this is my pair, the review I'm going to hit you guys up with now. And um, the t-shirt also, Don K. Ruler also dropped me the info on helping me to also cop this. Um, I guess someone on Nike Talk had mentioned to him and showed a picture that these were actually available. Guys, I can only tell you if you haven't actually seen the t-shirt in person that the t-shirt matches the shoes, um, kicks, trainers, again, depending on what side of the pond you're on, to the letter, guys. It's an exact, an exact match. Um, there's no mistake in my mind that Nike quite possibly made this shirt specifically thinking of the Hyper Punch shoe. Um, so guys, let's get into it really quick. Um, it's your typical uh, Nike or Hirachi um, box that most of you are pretty familiar with by now. Um, for those of you that have been watching my video for quite a minute and um, definitely show love and support. Thank you guys so much for that. You know who you are. A lot of people have fell off. I have a lot of ghost followers. Um, it's all good. Maybe I'm boring. Um, maybe I got to switch up my setup, but it is what it is for now. Um, US 11, um, Air Hirachi. We're looking, guys, at Anthracite um, Black Hyper Punch Electric Green. Uh, for those of you in the UK, this is a UK 10, again, US 11. And right there to the side, right over here, the suggested retail price, guys, in the US is $100. That's right, just $100 for these. Uh, and again, I got these from uh, Finish Line in store. I do have a backup pair, UK 10 that um, you know one to rock one to stock I'm a huge fan of that old school like that where if I really love a shoe I usually end up getting two of them um, again one to rock I take good care of my shoes but when it eventually um, comes to its timely end um, I do have another pair of the shoe again if I love it that much now let's jump into the shoe guys uh, I'm going to break down the materials really quick, this color, um, cover the colors. Now guys, this might be showing magenta, I'm going to do my best to run this through a program and try to adjust the colors so the colors are as accurate as possible for you guys, but trust when I tell you that this is a bright type of light. It's brighter than fuchsia, it's brighter than pink, it's brighter than um, infra infrared. Guys, this is hyper punch and it's definitely pink. This has scared a lot of men away. But this shoe still sells out every single time. Finishline.com has dropped it six times already. Um, today being one of the last, I mean, actually, um, or the most recent, I'm sorry, it may actually restock again. I'm not entirely sure. I was wrong about them being done with the restock before, so I'm not gonna say anything else about that. But this, guys, the midsole of the shoe is a bright, bright hyper punch, guys. It's brighter than pink, fuchsia, infrared, anything that you had issues with as a male if you struggle with wearing colors that tend to more or lean towards a more feminine skew you're going to struggle with these these shoes will not be for you 
um, but it's all good. There will be some other pair of shoes out there that's for you. So Hyper Punch, um, just going to start with the midsole, I'm sorry, the, uh, the outsole, uh, since I already did the midsole, we're already on the bottom here. This guys, um, this rubber is BRS1000. Um, as with most of, or I'm sorry, all Nike Air Hirachis actually, whatever the midsole color is, it actually picks through in these three seams or slits, depending on whatever you want to call that, uh, in the very front of the shoe. Towards the back of the shoe, you have that kind of like um, elongated or uh, I guess um, non-conform triangle, if you will, uh, with the Nike Air inside. I'm not sure why that's kind of like a highlighter yellow. Uh, the color uh, or the camera is picking up that color correctly, but it is, guys, kind of like a highlighter yellow, which is kind of weird since, um, again, the shoe is like just electric green, um, anthracite, and um, black, and uh, hyper punch. So, um, outsole, midsole, moving right up, guys. The front of the toe box, you have that nice pattern on what is a synthetic. Um, lever material so you have that in the front of the toe box right here just turn that around so you guys can get a nice look at that side here guys you also have that synthetic lever um, as well again if I go in a little closer you guys can see the texture the pattern on that I'll just go around so you can see it again more closely um, the majority of a Nike Air Hirachi guys uh, utilizes a uh, uh, a sock booty or a booty system, um, which is basically the whole shoe is almost like a sh like a sock. That's the way Tinker Hat Feel uh, designed it. That main part of the shoe has maintained, even though the front of the toe box material and a couple other things have changed over the years. The main um, thing that has stayed consistent about this shoe is this uh, sock booty, as Nike calls it. Um, you know, which again is the majority of a Nike Air Hirachi shoe. Um, guys, you have that nylon uh, material. You know, well the front of the toe box first. Let's just take a look at that really quick. Um, the camera going to macro love for us. There we go. So you guys can see that kind of like you know netted nylon material towards the front of the toe box. You go right up here. You get that nice nylon material there with that kind of like anthracite color. Uh, I guess a strip running up the tongue of the shoe or the booty of the shoe. Um, this, by the way, guys, in case you can't tell, that's your anthracite color there, your anthracite here um, towards the back of the shoe, the inside of the shoe, and then the inner sock liner is the anthracite color as well. Um, front uh, logo or on, on the seal right here, that's the electric green. We turn it around, you have the electric green here. Uh, this strap, guys, is opaque, similar to the Scream Greens, the Gym blues and just most of the Nike Air Hirachis that they've been making lately they've gone back to the opaque tab Nike tab in the back a lot of people have been a huge fan of that um, this midsole by the way guys is Phylon material in case you want to do your research as far as what exactly Phylon is um, what it does for your feet your ankles so on and so forth this is Phylon sorry I didn't mention that before then you have the typical or standard rubber type of strap that goes all around I did already point out the green with the Nike there and that's opaque and again this guys is rubber um, you know typical flat laces uh, there's been a couple like lace swaps I've seen with this already that's pretty interesting um, I've seen some Yeezy aglets um, some yeah Yeezy style aglets in gold but I think people need to move away from that because there are actually a ton of um, Yeezy style aglets now in all types of colors I've seen white gray neon orange volt green um, blue infrared um, I'll get into that in another video, but there are tons of those. So people need to move away from just trying to always, I think in my personal opinion, customize the lace tips with just the Yeezy Gold. Um, be a little different, you know, try something new. Uh, inside, guys, the sock liner, you can see right there. I'm sorry, the insole, I'm sorry. Well, I already talked about the sock liner, and that's the anthracite color. But the insole, that uh, has Nike Air inside, and that is in the electric green as well. And that, guys, pretty much covers... Um, the actual shoe itself. Now the t-shirt guys, this is not an aftermarket shirt by some um, company like Sneaker Tee, so on and so forth. It is actually um, a shirt, uh, an official shirt by Nike.com or by Nike. Uh, this is the Nike Speed Futura Black Tee as they call it. This is a particular, or this um, one is a extra large as you can see right there. Um, haven't taken off the tag on that yet. Uh, these guys are a regular fit, so they're not like really, really big and baggy. If you like your shirts really, really um, 
huge baggy these are not going to be those type of nike shirts you may actually even have to go a size up depending on um what type of shape you're in or your actual shape your height you may have to actually go a size up because these are regular fit so they're not like ginormous on you um, love what they did here. I noticed the other day, paying a little more attention going in store, that they actually have these in a number of different colors, but this is the only particular color that actually matches um, the Hyper Punch to a T. You have the Nike kind of like slashed up, I mean really, really nice, which I think speaks to speed, which is interesting because the shirt is called Speed Futura. Uh, let me just zoom in there so you guys can get a look at the tag. Um, that's the price on it. Again, like you speak for sure, black tea, extra large. Um, so it's kind of interesting that they did um, those cuts in it, which I think um, works really well because it sp definitely speaks to speed for me personally. And then right in the center, love how they did that pebble type of like electric green look. Um, with uh, which actually are, is obviously the electric green here and the electric green here so this shirt guys will actually like match your hyper punch to the T um, all puns intended um, but really really awesome shirt in my opinion pretty happy that I was able to pick this up again thanks to Don K Ruler for giving me the tip on this and the tip on the shoes as well where to find them now they have been released at so many places so hopefully you can get your hands on a pair if um, anything I've said in this review uh, works for you or you were planning to pick them up regardless of my reviewing these are just on your bucket list or your radar anyway um, guys as always um, don't forget to hit that like button uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions I'll be more than happy to try to get back to you as soon as possible answer any questions you may have I think I already pointed out where you guys can try to find these check nike.com regular regularly um, they may restock even though the majority of the restocks have been on um, have been on uh, finishline.com ruvilla.com just actually got these tonight but they only have sizes nine to ten and a half left uh, shoe palace.com uh, over in LA actually got these as well but they're completely sold out um, these are not sitting guys these in the US are by far uh, the most popular Hirachis to actually drop for us this year not even the scream greens or the triple blacks or the cool grays are moving uh, like these are moving the, those ones I just mentioned you can actually find sitting in a lot of stores different sizes um, not these um, any place I mentioned is not I had them they're either already out of stock notice I use the word had they're either out of stock or by the time you've watched this video they are already going to be out of stock uh, again, the most popular Hirachi this year. Uh, I can't say that for the UK because the UK just has Hirachi hype period. So every single Hirachi that drops is popular over there. Over here, not so much yet. We're not on that level yet. Um, or there's just too many other shoes that people tend to like, especially basketball shoes, just given the differences in taste for obvious reasons between the UK and the US. Guys, again, um, Drop a comment down below. Don't forget to hit the like button. This is your boy Modern Craft. Guys, thanks so much for watching this vid, and I am out. Peace.